world's in trouble. Here's the prize package the agent held for us. Lock him in the back room, Moxon. Hodge was supposed to be working for us. But when I got to the freight office, he and Kilgore were stealing our powder. And where is Kilgore? He got away with a wagon load. And used it to blast Indian Gap, three quarters full of debris. Now we can't save the time we planned by stringing our wires through the gap. If it hadn't been for Zorro, we wouldn't even be here. I think we can save more time, Rita. Look here. You see, our original plan was to veer down the mountain to go through the ravine. I'll admit it's a tough job, but bridging the gap from this point to here is the perfect answer. Now we can run the line all along the crest of the mountain. Over the gap? That's right. Ken, I think it'll work. When can we start? As soon as we dig up labor and material. I'll get them if it takes me all night. Good. Meanwhile, I'll have a sight level for the anchor supports by the time you return. Oh, shall I send someone to turn Hodge over to the marshal in St. Joe? No, we can't spare anyone that long. If Pioneer Telegraph Line isn't connected with Twin Bluffs by November 15th, I'll lose my franchise. It will be. Go have a little talk with Hodge. All right. Bye, Rita. You fool. If Hodge spills that I'm selling protection to you outlaws, anyone can guess why a telegraph line's not wanted in Twin Bluffs. Huh? And that their good friend George Crane is the one who's trying to stop it. It wouldn't be very healthy for you either, Kilgore. Communications mean law, and the law is just aching to put a rope around your neck. We'd better get Hodge out of there. Dead or alive. Even if he's already talked, they'll need him as a witness when it comes to a showdown. Tonight, I want you to pick up a couple of you. What did you learn from our prisoner? Nothing. I'm sure Hodge knows more than he admits. I can't get it out of him. Maybe Zorro can. Zorro? Yes. People around Twin Bluffs are beginning to think Zorro is really a ghost. Even the worst ones wake up the thought of meeting him. You mean Hodge might quake hard enough to loosen his tongue? Moccasin, I think it might be worth trying tonight. What are you... What are you gonna do? 
I'm your friend, Zorro. Friend? Zorro once had many friends. They were happy and contented here until their lands were overrun by you and your kind. No, Zorro. I'm not that kind. What kind are you, Hodge? I'm the right kind. I never did a wrong thing in my life until I met Kilgore. He was... Go on. What about Kilgore? Nothing. I never could remember names. You remembered Kilgore's. What about him? He came to me one day on the job. You're stalling, Hodge. Tell me all you know about Kilgore. Who's his boss? Honest Zorro. I don't know who Kilgore's hooked up with. I've been meeting him at Oregon Cave. He tells me what to do. Your eye on Hodge. Glad to see you. Let's hurry up and get out of here. Zorro's after Brace and Fowler, but he won't catch him. He's apt to show up at Oregon Cave. You tell him we hang out there? I had to. He'd have killed me if I hadn't. Well, maybe you played it smart at that. What do you mean? You and I'll make up a nice welcoming committee for Zorro when he shows up at that cave. Come on. Hodge. He and Kilgore just escaped. They headed out of town going west. They'll be showing up at Oregon Cave sooner or later. Looks like I got some more riding to do. After you get your wind back, follow me. All right.
Zorro's coming. Take your places. Yeah, I said light. <laughs> 